Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces here. I'll play the Karukan defense, which starts with c6, followed by d5. And you can play this against any kind of an opening. White does play. Ended up a bishop on f5, pawn to e6. These are standard moves in the Karukan. You can slightly vary the move order, but that's how your original pieces would lie in. Bishop comes to d6, we'll develop the knight on f6. It's trying to pin, I'll just get back my bishop. Connect both the knights. Play pawn forward so that he has to take. I'll take with the knight or the bishop. Let's take with knight okay he's attacking b7 there how do we save it we try and offer him queen exchange if he does take we can take back so nothing to be bothered about this is all good in castle maybe yes okay, he's trying to attack my bishop i don't want to give that Always eyeing this, so nice bishop. Okay, um, bishop on d6. He cannot, of course, play this forward. I can take him. Okay, he's trying to get him from the other side. Well, I can let him take, there's no problems. So I just place my rook in front of the rook. He does take. I'll take back here with this so that the C file is opened up. Okay, knight here means he can have access to this, but it's not a problem. So I'll get my rook active, trying to come on C2 next. We can still land in there. Attacking the knight as was the pawn. Now what has the open got now? Both can't be saved, I think. I can just line up my rooks as well. Okay, gives the pawn at least. Now this gets weakened up. Rook is lined up, bishop is lined up. And he can't offer me rook, rook exchange because bishop is eyeing this beautiful diagonal. So I think we are in control here. Knight here loses because I have got a knight defending it. Even if he tries to get his rook here, it's not possible because of my bishop. Yep, that's what he's trying to do, but it will not help. I'll just play king maybe. I'm trying to go here. I don't want to give him access to the last rank. Now I can take this pawn. Even if it comes down, we don't have problems. Well, that's what I think he identified in the first place. I still go and attack him. Or play king up first. This is also fine. Bishop is defending and these double pawns are not really bad. He might plant his bishop here. 
I can move my knight now because that is one inactive piece. So I'll try to exchange the knights. So he had two. I'll take now. Maybe bishop comes in with a check. Yes, I can just move aside. This is my always an option. I can um, take this as well. I don't see any problems. Okay, I'll take this. He might land up with a check, so I need to defend that. Um, I can go in with my bishop, maybe. Hang the diagonal. Uh, I can give a check as well now. Maybe take this pawn then and start promoting. Uh, okay, now here's a catch. I take this. And if he does, I can take the rook. And the game is over. Because I will have extra bishop. So he denies and now I'll offer him rook exchange, which he has to. And still we are up. And I don't see me losing this any which ways. I play pawn forward so that he's distracted. There's a reverse diagonal protecting the pawn as well. He does see that. I'll take pawn. I'll try to exchange rooks maybe. Because if he now takes the pawn, that's another mistake. I'll give it discovered check. He doesn't say uh, do the mistake this time. I can give a check still. Um, how would I save both? Can I? Probably I can't. But I can go behind his rook as well. This check doesn't work. Okay, I lost a piece there, I think. It does take, I'll go here. I'm trying to take on the pawn, which is safeguards. I have this coming. I have to take my king as well. Okay. Uh, where's it planning to go? Let's see, wait check move the pawn up maybe exchange rooks if possible because that would still be winning check goes down i'll push the pawn forward if he tries to go for these pawns i'm pretty happy because I can meanwhile push these further. I'm coming here, giving a check. Yeah, he identifies that. And I can go up, trying to defend my rook as well. I'll take this. He does take back, check, and I can exchange the rooks. Let's see if he's willing to. Oh, this can be a problem. So I need to be around. I'm uh, losing my time as well. I have to be a bit fast. You can just hang out, hang on to one of the pawns. That's it. Come down, defending the pawn still pushing it forward. There's no way you can stop that. Okay, I'll take this. I'll go here. Now I start pushing the other pawns now. Okay. I can still proceed. I can still proceed. Okay, I'll take this, go up, 
attack his rook. Okay, I can still do that. I'll go on with the pawns, but too many. Hide behind as well. Pawn forward, king up. This is easy. I can win this on pre moves. I'll go up. Okay, go here. And yeah, I won this. So that was comfortable, I would say, but I should have actually finished this earlier. Uh, I lost a piece there somehow. Let's analyze the game quickly once and see how it went. Started off with g3. I played c6 for by d5. Uh, the Karukan defense. Open plays d4. I developed the bishop on f5. A pawn to e6. Standard moves. Develop the knight. I developed the bishop on d6. And going for the knight on f6. He tries to pin. And I get my bishop back. Okay. I can develop my knight in the process. That's what I missed. Uh, and then I do that. So I've lost a move there. I had to kick that uh, bishop away. He does take. I take back with the knight. Tries to attack the b7, which I defend with queen to b6. He does take, which is bad because you had the advantage earlier, which you just lost. Uh, I just cancel now. As you see, black has slight advantage here. I bring back the bishop. He goes back with the knight. Uh, then I plan give my plant my bishop on d6. He offers pawn exchange, which I doesn't take. I didn't take this uh, because if I do take, he takes back with the knight, and then I'm retrieving my bishop. Just a waste of moves, I would say. Other hand, he can still push on with the pawns. Not direct. Ah, he can, uh, but then probably yeah, he has to get his knight back and then play pawn forward because otherwise, I got two defenders and he has got only one attacker. Uh, so yeah. Let's go back to the game where I got my rook on the open uh, on the e file in, rooks, in front of the rooks, but I opened up the c file rather. I didn't want him to open the center, and then I got my rook on the c file and went to c2. The right move because I get to take a pawn, which is a very huge advantage in these kind of games. As you see, my pawn structure is bad, uh, but actually it's not bad. It's preventing my opponent to play a move like. Uh, knight to c6 as you see my knight is guarding d7 as well uh, as i said in the game as well that uh, the rook is not very active because it cannot come on c6 or c7 so he tries to just get his rook on the open file i go on with my king to f8 and some passive moves i would say was just trying to make sure that there's no last rank problems if ever i try to uh, take on the pawn or take rook exchange and once he tries to keep his bishop there i just tried went for the exchange of knights and then he gets in with the bishop i always had this move in, in my mind that i can take on the bishop because as soon as he does take back uh, his rook will become a weakness of course for that his he has to move his rook first so i waited for the right move and exchanges uh, did some exchange there and then I went with king to d8 rather than doing something else. Uh, and then once he plays f4, I plan my bishop on e4 so that I can get my rook uh, on g2. Here are the opponent blunders, as I said in the game. He plays rook to c3, trying to double up the rooks. But he missed the fact that I can take on the bishop, which I did. Uh, and then he tries to line up. I offered him rook exchange, which does happen. And I take on the free pawn, so pretty much good here. I now this was again uh, another trick in the hat, I would say. I can just defend the pawn with my king, but that's too obvious. And then he can also repeat the move. Uh, rather, I played pawn to d4 in, in this game so that I have a reverse diagonal protecting my pawn. Uh, and here he takes with the pawn, I take with the rook, and as you see. I offered him uh, the rook exchange as well, which he denies, and that was bad move. I should have kept my rook on d3 rather. I placed it on d2, and there he traps one of my pieces. It's going. I try to exchange uh, rooks there, attack his rook, 
but then I took the right choice of taking on the pawn at least. Uh, and then still black is an advantage as you see because I have got extra pawns uh, and that's all you require in the end game. And yes, some repetition happening. I'm trying to make sure that my pawns are advanced. And once he tries to attack, I defend the pawn first to go with the king. That's important because if I don't go on with the king, his next move is uh, king to uh, d4. And then I'm just moving my rook away. But this pawn is going to get weaker next move because he will play king to c4. So then he will have two attackers, the king and the rook, and my pawn would be left hanging. Still, I would, ha I would have won this game because I've got four extra pawn here on the king side as well. But I've saved my uh, uh, my pawn here by placing my king on c5. Then we offer some and do some pawn trades, and then I just push him backwards. Try to offer the, the rook exchange, which he denies. Again, if he does, that just simplifies the game for me because after he does take, I can take back. Uh, he can proceed. I do proceed as well. He gets queen on the board, and so do I. After placing king here, we both will have queens. I can probably save one of the pawns and checkmate him faster. As you see, black is still in advantage. But yeah, that could have been a bit troublesome if I don't calculate the moves properly because he will get a queen maybe one move before me. Uh, so that was the trick there. But um, he did let me come on the other side of the board by giving me a check. I had an opportunity to I, I play d5. He tries to come closer to the pawn and I bring my rook back so that all he can do is just stop with this king. And now this king is babysitting this pawn. I can gobble the other pawns with my king and then promote from the other side of the board as well. That's what happens in the game. I try to create pressure and then start pushing my other pawn. But he has to go behind and I take his pawn as well. Now I've got two pawns which he cannot uh, defend. I just go behind the pawns. And these two pawns and my king on the right side is too much vicious for my opponent. And this is, there's no way that he can win from here. Uh, and he runs out of time as well. So I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Let me know if something else has to be covered. Uh, I, I can really try to bring something to your notice there. Um, thank you so much for your time. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Take care. Bye-bye.